Hello guys and welcome. This is iPlay4K.com, Alex M. And in this video, or iPlay4K, and in this video I'm going to show you Stalker mode, or a standalone game by the way. It's called Dead Air. It's based on the open X-ray engine as developers trying to refer to, but it looks to me like it's based on the X-ray Stalker Clear Sky engine. I'm going to play this on a laptop today. I'm going to show you 4K resolution. I'm going to show you 1080p resolution. And we're going to talk a little bit about the mode and about the hardware that is good to, to, uh, to, to be as a support for this game at the nice FPS and stuff like that. So as you can see, 38, 40 by 21, 60 maximum direct extend, which is the clear sky was the maximum possible settings, as you can see through the renders available in the mode. This is the version 0.92B, which pretty much the most stable version and a lot of goodies they added and uh, removed a lot of bugs. Uh, so I'm using 90% field of view, as you can see, full screen. Uh, and in advance, everything will be maxed out, anti-aliasing will be off. I'm also going to use at the middle grass height because when grass height is all the way full, all the way to the max, it's as height as tall as my character, which is not nice, especially when you're playing, especially when you're recording, kind of get some annoying. Maybe some people will be uh, like that uh, grass height, but me, I think in the middle is the best. I also decreased the shadow resolution because of the we're not gonna look too much at the shadows anyways and pretty much it's hard to tell at 4k resolution anyways it's better at 1080p but at 4k resolution it's kind of hard to tell because everything nice and uh, crystal clear um, everything else will be maxed out i also uh, guys sharpness increase the sharpness by about 20 percent because during the compression of this video sharpness will be lost so you will have about the same sharpness as i'm having right now if you're watching this video on a 4k resolution device also ssao mode will be off guys and ssao quality will be off as well everything else will be maxed out disable the deep of fill because i don't like how blurry it is it looks like i have a bad vision on the distance but i'm pretty sure you can you know modify it in the config files to make it nice beautiful depth of fill but i don't like it so i disable it right now i want to show you how the game originally looked like with the without the uh, modifying some settings in the configs files and stuff like that disable the magnet disable the technicolor don't like it uh, lens water yeah let's add lens water uh, uh, glare on the glass let's do that and reflection uh, here we go guys I'm going to go out and apply 4k resolution and in the end of this video I'm going to show you 1080p resolution and we're going to talk more about the hardware on this laptop in the end of this video but right now we're going to talk about the mod all right everything else is increased let's go ahead and have a look shall we guys i really like the sparkles right here if you're playing with direct x10 see the sparkles looking nice look at that visuals amazing this is the game guys the latter stalker was uh released in 2009 look at this vision still great in 2018 so this is uh, the location from Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. Most of you guys probably will recognize this. Let me real quick go ahead and show it to you. The map is huge. Uh, they claim it's based on the Stalker Call of Chernobyl game, so which is the open X-ray kind of engine. So it's going to have all those locations from yeah, Stalker sure, Call of Chernobyl. As you can see, a lot of stuff to explore. The mostly the mode or standalone game. You can call it standalone game because you don't need any game of the Stalker series to play it. Just download the links that I'm going to inclu include in the video description. But play it as a free mode. But it has some guys. Look at it. Even the Chernobyl right here. But it has some. Wow, the map is huge. But it has some location that you never saw before, and it has some storyline. Just in about a day about 12 hours you can finish the whole storyline but it's nice it's something new so you can you can play like the way you want in this game which is nice look at that beautiful visuals guys uh for those who didn't know stalker it's amazing guys it has great mode community and stuff like that and it was developed by ukrainian game developers the game looked 
looks just on another level look at this photorealism in this mode it's just amazing by the way guys i'm developing my own mode uh for stalker call of paper game it's going to be called cinematic mode it's going to include increase the visuals um but i think somebody died somebody died guys you can hear somebody it's going to increase the visuals but it's going to keep the original quest as original stashes oh my god there's a mutant right there we better run we better run oh my god see like when grass so high it's kind of hard to play look at that there's a bunch of them we better hide guys it's easy to, to die in this mode because the complexity the difficulty in this mode of the NPCs and AI it will be around uh, like um, in Misery 2 you know what I mean so it's kinda hard as you can see at the 4k resolution the GPU scaling 99% almost not all the time though but CPU scaling is below 25% so quad core interest will be more than enough and today I'm running 7th generation 4i7 quad core interest guys so I only have the knives, so I better stay away. So it's more than 4K. And it's not only in this game. What I found, guys, at 4K resolution, if you wanna... Come on, guys, there is one more mutant right here. He's like, oh, I can chill now, but no, you cannot chill, buddy. We got, we still got the mutant right there and keeps running. I think those guys killed somebody over here. I'm pretty sure. So you, as you can see guys, the AA life is like real. So it's attacking each other, zombies attacking the, the folks over here, the NPCs and it's kind of the emulation of the AA life is amazing in stalker series and in this mode then they are it's on another level as well as grass details and pre-render is just on another level let me real quick go ahead and show you how high the the, the grass can be and um, then later on in about couple minutes I'm going to go ahead and switch to 1080p for those who's curious how the scalability will be on the Pascal top flex video card starting from GTX 1070 in this game so glass uh, grass height is all the way I'm gonna see that ridiculous grass look at that and guys it look look how high it is so it's kinda hot ugly to record and it's dangerous when you're running uh, grass like this in this game because you know every move can be the last move move every move the last move in this game so I'm going to go ahead and put it like this which is in a half more than enough guys I'm recording in real time so I'm going to experience this with you and I'm not recording after And English is not my first language, so I'm apologizing if I'm making any mistakes. Hopefully you understand that. The purpose of this video is to show you the great mode or even the great game that you can run stand alone. But look, look, look at this echo. They added the audio on another level. You can hear the echo. Guys, hopefully you're watching this in the headphones, the best. Guys, if you are planning to create any modes for Stalker, Call of Prepaid and stuff like that, or use any X-Ray engine, I think to download and try this mode and study this mode will be a great idea because you can find a lot of goodies in this mode and you can use these goodies in your own mode because mode is mode, mode is free, right? And you cannot sell the mode, but you can use uh, from the mode some details and create your own mode this is how the mode community is all about so if you're interested working out in the stalker community guys this 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 is the mode for you to play after misery 2 definitely one of the good ones too misery 2 and this one
or cinematic mode by me if you up to the original stories but with better visuals on another level like a redox something like that by the way stalker 2 guys was released and it's coming for those who didn't know it's coming out the it's probably will take two years for them so it probably will come out in 2020 something like that as again you can see that not always utilizing my GPU fully. and it's probably going to be suck at 1080p but we're gonna check it out and very soon in a second usually Pascal GPU architecture is suck at the 1080p when it comes to GTX 1080 and GTX 1070 in most of the games it's not only this game they're not fully utilized at 1080p look like the Pascal GPU architecture and I think Volta will be the same because they're powerful enough and uh, I think Nvidia does it to save the energy and it's probably part of the Microsoft system as well to save the energy to kind of be like um, e-friendly economy friendly so a bunch of boxes you can find some items in the boxes sometimes sometimes not you see visuals are great guys let's go ahead and check it out more so 4k resolution guys even not always 30 fps as you can see right now 48 and stuff like that so average will be like 35 and it's shining so comfortable guys because this is the old school game it's like like doom 3 was running so comfortably all right i think there's a dogs behind us so i better get here and just because I just appear in the game, I didn't kill any bandits. I think there is a bandits controlling this territory over here. It used to be a military back in the Stalker uh, Shadow of Chernobyl, the original series, guys. But right now it's like bandits. And just because I didn't kill any bandits right now, I'm still okay with them. So they're not attacking me. But guys, in this mode, it's very co uh, it has the complexity tree and um, it controls your reputation with all kind of groups and stuff like that all kind of npcs around the zone so the better your reputation with everyone the better you 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 will be in the zone and the better you will you're not gonna get some bullets out of nowhere <laughs> look at that the, the, the russian language right here is amazing guys like, when you're playing this game in the original the way it was invented like in the Russian language and stuff like that it's it's much better experience than when you're playing it um, in English trust me guys but just because it's kind of, uh, kind of hard for you to understand but anyway alright I can hear a lot of dogs so look like a rather dogs in the zone so zone kind of dangerous and it's kind of hard to run with just a knife when you're starting the game you can start the way you want it to, to play and the way your character can be equipped but i decided to start just Не plain болуй. simple all right all right all right the characters from the clear sky as well some of them as you can see guys so no что расскажешь So bandits right now is kind of holding this position as well. Kind of foolish, full kind of style of the vegetation, which is on another level and giving you that mood and stuff like that. The grass is kind of shaking from the wind. That's like nice. Guys, you're going to enjoy this by playing this mode. Or standalone game as again that I'm going to attach in the video description for you to download with the English translation. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. There is a dog behind me. And there is nobody over here, so it's going to run. Around this deal right here. Jesus, Jesus, come on. I don't want to die today. Let's go ahead and escape. I'm 
the game doesn't have too many stashes, secret stashes, so it's kind of it's kind of well balanced and it's hardcore. Like you gotta be experienced player to play it to survive, like me right now, because you're gonna die a lot, guys. It doesn't look like that easy. Trust me. All right, time to switch to. Uh, we saw how the game looked like in 4K, how the beautiful details and stuff like that. Time to switch it now to 1080p. Check it out at 1080p real quick, and I'm going to wrap up. Hopefully, you're going to try this mode, and if you're in the Stalker series, you're going to have a lot of fun. As again, do not forget about my own mode. Let me go ahead and apply. So 1080p, guys. You're gonna see immediately how ugly the Pascal GPU architecture scaling 1080p when it comes to GTX 1070, 1080, and 1080 Ti. But video with 1080 Ti, guys, actually is coming. coming soon and uh, in this mode as well but I'm going to put bunch of games and also Titan V Volta right here as you can see so for those who's curious here we go the shaders could course 2048 in this GTX 1070 so it's like almost GTX 1070 Ti and the team units 128 in your desktop video card GTX 1070 you're going to have 1940 here and 112 over here so it's going to be less power and less performance than in this theoretically than in this video card in this laptop but just because it's in a laptop video card and it's kind of going to overheat a little bit guys let me go ahead and uh, put down the numbers a little bit lower you're going to see immediately higher FPS but it's not going to be dramatically higher so something like that let's go now look shall we as again titan v videos even in this mode and any other games are coming out cool reviews benchmarks overclocking tutorials and gtx 1080 ti guys stay tuned i'm going to show you which gtx 1080 ti is the best in performance is the cheapest and the best in value and is the highest overclocker this video will be also available over the iplay 4k.com guys hopefully you can hear me well I just purchased a new mic and I think this this mic will do all right there's a bunch of dogs are over there as you can see it's even sharp because they add in version 0.992 B as I'm running right now they added the sharpness so it's still sharp even and detailed with the um, 1080p resolution 1940 by 1080 as you can see it has the details on the wall so it's kind of it also doesn't look too bad on 1080p but guys I've been playing for too long 4k and I can see how ugly the 1080p look like so we're not gonna play too much 1080p hopefully we're gonna switch it but damn the do those dogs around us I'm not getting here. There is a fight going on. Stalker is one of those games. It's not only the visuals. It's also the sounds, guys. And if you get that beautiful pair of headphones, uh, GTX 1070, as you can see, will be enough. And I think just because, as you can see right now, my uh, GTX 1070 utilizing below 50% and 1080p, guys. The second value after the temperature under the GTX 1070M is my utilization. It's kind of suck as you can see guys. And uh, so GTX 1060 even will be fine in this mode when we're running 1080p. And I believe GTX 1050 Ti will be also fine, but it's probably going to utilize like 99% and 1920 by 1080. But on those video cards, you know, there is no way for you to dream about something about the 4K anyways. There's something running towards us. We better run away. I saw somebody, something was running and I think it's Lil and Fast. Jesus. It's Lil and it's running behind my back. It's like a little red. Radioactive wild red behind us and we better stay away. And I, I think a couple dogs. Yes. Oh my goodness. Not a behind but just. Come on please. Please. Guys, if I'm going to die, I'm going to wrap up at this point, but this mode is amazing. 
come on, come on, bunch of wild dogs running behind me. Oh my god, they're gonna get me, man. They're gonna get me. Or I'm going to die by myself. Anyways. Oh my god, I need the med kit as soon as possible. And this dog gonna get me, guys. This dog gonna get me anyways. Yeah. This is how dangerous the zone is, guys. So hopefully you love this video. Go ahead and hit that like button. Let me real quick go ahead and show you. You saw the CPU scalability. It's up to eight cores. That was sec that value in the, in the game and the laptop. You saw everything. So this is pretty much it. Running on the laptop, nice comfortably. So you will be nice comfortable running something GTX 1060, 10, 1050 Ti at 1920 by 1080 or even GTX 1070 at 4K resolution. Keep in mind that I'm going to do the Titan V in this mode. For those who's curious, probably 8K resolution and also I will probably will be try to run two GTX 1080 in SLI, maximum overclock to the skies in this mode and 8K resolution as well. So it's going to be nice to see this mode at 8K resolution, but it's going to be in the next videos over the iPlay4K.com YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe to it. I will see you guys till the next time. Peace.